Hello, I'm Nige. I'm Anders. Welcome to the review. Two T's pitched against each other. Nige, what are those two T's? Well, we've got PG Tips. Mm. Get that right in. PG Tips, and we're pitching that against Whining's Everyday Tea. Now, as, as I said before, these current tastings we're doing, they're, they're the top five selling tea bags in the UK. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to see which one's the best. Okay. So uh, if we go for what, PG Tips first? PG Tips is actually the best selling tea in the UK. Is it? Right. Okay. Uh, but PG Tips founded 1869 by Arthur Brook. He had oh. a little shop. He sold tea, coffee and sugar. Okay. And, uh, quite interesting. It was called Digestive was the first name, this brand of tea. Okay. Then it was renamed uh, pre pre digest tea. Yeah. With the inference that you 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 have it prior to a meal to aid digestion. Okay, interesting. And in the 1930s, the salespeople selling it for the the company, they just everyone just kept on shorting it to PG. So they they changed the name to PG. And tips reference the tea bud so that's how pg tips got its name Ooh, interesting but uh alas it's no longer a, a independent company of course not it's gone through the procter and gamble and unilever and anyway, unilever own it now it's one of the subsidiary companies based in the netherlands, netherlands own it and uh uh yeah so it's owned by one of the big boys now yeah okay well, but should we taste that one first? Let's taste that one first. Come on. Yeah, I forgot how uninspiring this was, but you first taste it. Yeah. However, I seem to remember this gets better as you go as it cools down and you go through it. It's just a bit. It lacks a bit of oomph, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Actually, the second sit there was 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 better. better. It, it's okay. Not a lot to say about it. Really. No, it's it, well, it's it's tea, isn't it? <laughs> it is. You bugs. It, it, it's, it's something my... we all drink gallons off, but you, you yeah. get used. To, I think I think anything that you drink constantly, you get used to your brand. Your yeah, and, you know, your body just gets used to that taste. Of things. Yeah, well, you see, PG tips is 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 what I'm forced to drink at work. Well, no one forces you to do anything, Anders. You have free will. I do have free will, but I refuse to buy my own tea bags when they're being supplied to me. Fair enough. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, let's move on to the twinings. Yes, let's see what happens there. Uh, oh, you see, straight away, so much. There's warmth. a warmth to it, isn't there? Oh, there really is. Yeah, there's a, a slight and a warmth. There's a slight maltiness to it. Do you think? Oh, I am enjoying this. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh. Are you oh. getting that maltiness? Yeah, I, well, if that's what you call it, it's it's just fuller, isn't it? Yeah, and I, and and uh, yeah, I'm struggling for a description here, but maltiness is the closest. So we've had this on another tasting. Yeah, it was okay. I'm enjoying it ten times better this time. It's funny that. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's just that little that little bit of time that we've given it before. Because we, we started to record and talked about... Yeah, but it's this. just cooled a little bit, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. I'm well, going back to me PG tips. It was just like hot water. Cause... It really <laughs> is. Anyway, we're going to let this cool a little bit. Well, we're going to drink it in our own time, and we'll get back to you with our verdict. I think we will. 
Mm, mm. Things are happening, people. Oh, oh this is close. PG right. tips. Yeah. Like the last time I drank, this gets nicer as I go down. And you, you what was it you I'm, said about it? I said it gets there's a little sweetness towards the back end. I know what you mean, but it's smooth. It's it's just very drinkable as you go down the cup. Right. Twinings. Twinings. Getting a bit more bitter, you say. You've still got that smoothness, but right at the back end, you get a, a bit of bitterness coming in. It's not unpleasant. Uh, I quite like it, actually. Mm, me too. But it, I could see some people not liking it as it grows. But this is quite interesting because uh, men have less bitter senses on the tongue than women. Okay. That's why men like bitter beer mm -hmm. and women tend not to like beer as much because it's it's overly powerful the bitterness mm -hmm. uh so then maybe that's part of the reason why pg tips outsells twinings and other teas it's, it's an interesting thought i don't less know. bitterness okay now, this is an interesting thing right okay i don't know if we can do this now but um we had a previous channel doing beer yeah and top selling beers we decided sold due to price price and marketing yeah and i think tea will be exactly the same yeah what's do you know offhand what the difference between twinings and pg is no no I there's think... not a lot between them they were talking pennies yeah it's not like beer where there's you, your product doesn't last long i mean you get, you're getting a hundred cups of tea here, so it's and they'll last forever. Yeah. Yeah. So it the price is I don't think is as crucial. Okay, fair point. Right. Tell me then, if you have to pick a winner, who are you gonna pick? I pick Twinings. Two nil. Twinings. There it is. Based in a shop, if you're a bloke. <laughs> yeah. I got these two. That's the one we prefer. Yeah. But, you know. Each to their own. I quite own. enjoy both of them. Um, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of PG tips. No, um, I, I... Yeah. I, I, but it stood I, up I, better than I thought yeah. against the Twinings, but on the whole. Anyway, let's draw a close to this. Let us know what you think. Please do. Um, but until the next time, thanks, peeps. Bye. Bye.